Our story is of a great warrior of the Indian Army, Captain Kaishin Clifford Nongram. Was born in the beautiful city of Shillong, Meghalaya, in March 7, 1975. His father was a state bank employee, and mother is a housewife. Captain Clifford, from his very childhood, made up his mind to join the Indian Armed Forces. when he used to often spend hours in watching daily drills of the men in the assam rifles base captain received his high school education from don bosco and completed his graduation from saint anthony's college shillong from his very childhood he was very sincere obedient honest and he possessed all the qualities that a quality officer should have whilst his a uh, very determination towards the indian armed forces he had a great interest in soccer and boxing so in the year 1993 he formed a club to encourage the youths around his locality to play soccer he was also the captain of the school football team and the game helped him honing his leadership qualities once he completed his college he, he was determined to join the armed forces and in the year 1996 he joined the officer training academy he graduated from there and was commissioned into the 12th battalion of the jammu kashmir light infantry regiment it was the month of may 1999 pakistani armed forces had intruded well areas across the loc in the mushkosh dras kaskar and batalik sectors The extent of penetration across the LOC varied from 4 to 8 kilometers in each of the sectors. In many of the important points, neither artillery nor air support could dislodge the enemy forces, who were not visible in the range. The Indian forces was bound to send up the soldiers for direct assaults, which was slow and took a toll. One such mission was assigned to 12 Jammu and Kashmir Light Infantry Unit on 30 June 1999 to capture the strategically important point 4812 in the Batalik sector. Captain Nongram was tasked to lead the assault team for this critical and very important mission. On the night of 30 June and 1st July, Captain Nongram set along with his troops to assault the feature from the southeastern direction he led his column over the near impossible vertical cliff using all the field craft skills he had learned captain nongram and his resolute squad just went on to do the challenging and quite impossible task and made the ascent steadily yet stealthily to get to the enemy shelters at the top on reaching the top his column faced strong opposition from the enemy forces as they were well entrenched in interconnected positions carved out of boulders and couldn't be attacked by even artillery fire the enemy pinned down the column of captain nongram with heavy automatic fire for about 2 hours captain realized that the enemy forces were in 45 positions and a dead devil action was needed to overrun them to make an advance towards their objective he did not take much time to analyze the gravity of the situation and with utter disregard to his personal safety charged through the fire zone closing in with the first position he threw grenades into it and killed six enemy soldiers he then tried to snatch the universal machine gun of the enemy from the second enemy position and received a volley of bullets the audacious action of captain nongram not only stunned the enemy but also gave valuable reaction time to his troops to close in and finally clear the position though severely wounded he refused to be evacuated and fought valiantly till he succumbed to his injuries this courageous act of captain nongram finally paved the way for the ultimate capture of the point 4812 
captain nongram was given the nation's second highest gallantry award mahavir chakra for his exceptional bravery spirit and supreme sacrifice captain nongram is the only soldier from the state of meghalaya to receive this unique honor captain is survived by his father sri peter kesing mother shrimati shaili nongram and brothers sri jeffrey nongram and sri paul nongram